Hey everybody. Today we're getting started with factors in R, learning how to work with categorical variables. Throughout this vid, I'm going to be looking at the msleep dataset that's included in the ggplot2 package. You'll see that I started with the command library tidyverse. If you haven't already, you should install tidyverse on your machine with install.packages parenthesis quote tidyverse. Let's take a look at this dataset with glimpse msleep. You see that we have 11 variables, 11 columns, and 83 observations. Some of these vari variables are numeric. You can see that we have, um, for instance, body weight and brain weight are doubles, while others are categorical. Here they're listed as character vectors, name, genus, for, and so on. Um, for some of these variables, we're content with them as character vectors. For instance, the names are going to be different for each one of these um, animals. Um, however, some of them, and here I'm looking at vor in particular, really are categories or labels. And so the character vector structure just isn't really sufficient. We can see this most clearly with the summary command. So let's get the summary of msleep $vor. We don't get any useful information here. We see that we have a character vector of length 83. Really what we'd like out of the summary command is to know how many insectivores we have, how many omnivores, and so on. So we're going to want to convert vor to a factor vector in order to um, reflect that additional structure that this vector really should have. Before I do anything else, I'm going to attach the msleep dataset so I can refer to these variables directly. The basic command for converting a character vector into a factor vector is the factor command. There are others that will do this as well. Factor is the most basic. Then we're going to just input the name of the character vector that we have. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and assign this to a new variable name. Let's call it vor underscore fct. And um, let's go ahead and just print this out with um, vor underscore fct. I'm having trouble typing today, sorry for that uh, in advance. So here R is just printed out the same character vector that we had before with all the different uh, entries, Carney, Omni, Irby, and so on. The only real difference here is at the bottom, it's also given us a list of the labels, um, the different values that appear in that vector, Carney, Irby, Insecti, and Omni. Um, now if we do a summary command on vor underscore fct, we'll get what we would hope to have gotten originally. How many carnivores, herbivores, insectivores, and omnivores we have in this vector. Um, we can get a list of the levels in our vector explicitly with levels parenthesis vor underscore vector. So here we have a character vector of length four consisting of the different levels for this categorical variable. Um, let's see here. The next thing that we want to do is to actually be able to specify our levels explicitly. So let's call this vor underscore fct2. Let's make a factor variable out of vor, but this time let's explicitly specify the levels with levels equals. Now I'm going to give it a character vector consisting of the different labels. So let's do omni, erby, and um, Carney. There we go. And let's print this out. Actually, let's get a summary of it to start. Two differences to notice here. First of all, notice the additional NAs. When I listed my levels, I didn't include Insecti. So when R converted the, the vector vor to a factor variable, it immediately coerced all of the um, things that were not listed, that were not um, corresponding to a label that we, our level that we had given it, into NAs. So in this case, instead of five insectes and seven NAs, we just get 12 NAs. The second thing to notice here is that the order of our levels has changed. Instead of alphabetical order, Carney, Irby, Insecti, Omni. Now we have the order that I've specified, Omni, Irby, Carney. So that potentially matters when you're producing graphics like bar plots. Um, also, that's relevant if we use the sort command. 
So if I do sort vor underscore FCT, it starts with carnivores. And if I do sort vor underscore fact two, it starts with omnivores. Okay, let's talk about the underlying structure of these factor variables. I think the easiest way to see how R is imagining factor variables is with the as.numeric command. So let's do as.numeric of vor underscore fct. You'll see that we get ones, twos, threes, and fours, as well as NAs. Ones being the values in this vector that correspond to our first level, two being the ones that correspond to the second level, and so on. Um, so really the way that R is viewing factor variables is as an underlying numeric vector with a set of labels corresponding to the ones, twos, threes, and fours. And so we can build up factor variables from scratch in that way. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's um, start with a numeric vector. And I'm just going to get some random numbers between 1 and 3. So let's sample from the vector 1 to 3. And let's get maybe 50 values. And let's allow R to do this with replacement. So replace equals T or replace equals true. So there's the nums vector. And then let's make this um, into a factor variable with these levels. And let's just make them first, second, and third. And then let's actually make the nums factor vector by making a factor variable with nums where the labels are going to be these levels that I've specified. So basically take the numbers one, two, and three and label them first, second, and third. So let's just see that. <laughs> FRT should be FCT. There we go. All right, so um, just what we would expect. One additional item here to take note of is that first, second, and third seem to have some ordering. And um, we would like to be able to communicate that fact to R for various applications. In other words, this is an ordinal variable. It's at the ordinal level of measurement. So let's go back up to this nums underscore fact command and add an argument to let R know that, in fact, this has an ordering. It's, the syntax is pretty straightforward. It's ordered equals true or ordered equals t. And now when I print out this vector, it tells me that first is less than second is less than third, that this is an ordered um, factor variable. This matters, for example, um, we can now do operations like inequalities. So let's do nums underscore fct less than or equal to quote second. So which values in this vector are less than or equal to second come um, before second in my list of levels? And you'll see that for first and second, I get true. And for third, I get false. Let's wrap up by doing a quick plot um, using a factor variable. In particular, I want to do a bar plot. So let's use the vor underscore fact variable and a geome equals bar. So this is a quick plot, a quick bar plot. This one will be pretty ugly. I haven't specified any additional arguments, um, but that's OK for the current purposes. So that's pretty basic. Um, in the future, we'll want to change around the orders of these bars, for instance, to suit our needs. Um, there's actually a lot of very powerful tools for that in the forecats package. So I'm going to do a separate um, vid on the forecats package and a separate vid showing the applications to bar plots. Doing bar plots in R is actually pretty fertile terrain. There's a lot of different powerful things we might want to do there. So I'm going to do that separately. The very last thing I want to point out here, though, is that um, is what, would, what R would do if we had just passed it, this character vector R, into the bar command. So qplot will, by default, attempt to coerce that character vector into a factor vector before plotting it. And so in this case, we actually get exactly the same result.